Hi, hello, how are you all this fine day? I hope that if you're here, you subscribe to this channel if you're not already and you check out everything that's going to be linked down below. There's going to be some important resources, information, ways that you can provide support right now because it's not necessary for me to say because it's obvious that we're in a tumultuous moment and even though I'm not at all directly affected I still feel really heavy-hearted and overwhelmed and really emotional about the the light that we are shedding that is so necessary that Black Lives Matter and on that same note, Black Autistic Lives Matter and Black Neurodivergent Lives Matter because as with any sort of facet of society, black people, brown people, anyone who is not white and upper middle class are left out of the conversation, are not even accurately represented in information, statistics. If you check out the stuff that's down below, you'll find that the reason that we see more prevalence of autism in white people and men is that they have more access and they have more privilege. They have the financial, social leg up when it comes to receiving the correct diagnosis of autism and they are more likely to receive that earlier in life so they are receiving the resources that they need to thrive. There is a stigma within the black community around neurodivergence, around disability, and there is the stigma within the autism community that is not really fully considering the intersections of race and socioeconomic status. So, with that comes a huge responsibility on my part and on your part if you are in a similar situation that I'm in of being privileged and even with the work or the things that I've been doing right now to provide support to black people in the black community, I've made mistakes and I have not done everything as effectively as I want it to. Even when your intentions are good, this does not mean that you are doing the most potent work. So without malicious intent, I hope, please correct me, please educate me as I, I will never be black. I will never fully empathize and understand. So that means that I, as an ally, 
need to do the best I can to do what I can and learn what I can and that's why I'm here and I'm making this video is because perhaps you are more likely to listen to a white person or see a white person here saying this so I implore you I urge you to seek out black voices and learn what you can do support black autistic people and provide more support where it's needed as much as you can because there are just as many black autistic people as there are white people but it just seems like there are fewer because they're left out and I don't want to take up too much space because this is precious time and energy for me and for you, but I need to take this opportunity and this moment to To say that black autistic people are here, they are present, they deserve just as much attention and support and recognition than any other autistic person. And until that happens, black autistic lives matter, black lives matter. And if you aren't doing anything right now, you're part of the problem. You are perpetuating ignorance and silence. So, please check out all the information, do your own research. I'm going to leave some articles, resources, and some black autistic creators and activists, all the things that deserve more attention and I'm going to do my best. I hope you do your best. I'm with everyone who is on the front lines and that's all I'm going to say. I'm going to leave the floor for other people. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and please act. Please do something.